what is happening in uh, the mind of the human beings. They are uh, definitely not happy with uh, their minds and uh, they are not uh, the masters of their minds. And um, whenever uh, someone wants to stay in uh, meditation or reflect, there are uh, thoughts coming into the mind about uh, what uh, happened yesterday, about what someone uh, told them, what can happen tomorrow. All these thoughts are about uh, other people. And um, the spiritual model tells us that all these thoughts are about what we call a drama. Drama means a play, a film. And uh, this drama is limited. So whatever happened throughout the day happened in the drama. And um, all in this drama are characters. They are uh, parts. And uh, whatever thoughts arise in the mind of human beings, they are thoughts about these parts. There are these uh, puppets in the drama. And uh, each puppet is uh, run according to a script. And there are many things that are happening in this drama, but mainly each puppet seems to be running day and night after power, power meaning position, power meaning security, they want uh, power to create their own conditions for peace. They want power to be happy, to eat more, to have uh, ice cream whenever they want. They want uh, power to feel uh, better than others. Uh, day and night in the drama, in the script, the puppets are running around to get power, to establish their power, to increase their power, to take the power from other puppets. So whatever is coming into the mind of the human being are thoughts about this drama thoughts about what the puppet did yesterday in the script and what that puppet said to this puppet and why that was not 100% accurate. With such a mind, there is no wonder that there is no peace. There is no uh, joy, there is no experience of love because the mind is overthinking, overanalyzing the script, the puppets. And this drama of the puppets is unlimited. They are constantly doing some kind of action or another type of action to um, take that power, to preserve it, to increase it. It is almost infinite. They uh, never finish 
that work to get more and more and more. That is a word that defines their uh, life. How to get more power, more position, more security. The ones that are playing these roles in the drama are the ones that are called souls. They are the actors. The soul is the actor. And these souls have their own life. It's a life that is real. This is a reality. When someone goes to play a role in a drama, they do not believe that that role is themselves. They see it as a book, they see it as a script. They don't obsessively think about what their role said in the script. They play their part for a certain number of hours and then they go to their home. They meet their friends. They are with their family. They don't uh, think over and over again about what uh, someone in the play did today. That would be madness. And it's true that these puppets, from the perspective of the soul, they look mad in their rush and in their obsession with getting more, more, more and experiencing power, 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 they look pretty mad to the souls, to the actors. The souls, the actors have their own uh, home and reality, which is a reality of unity, first of all. They are a family. In this reality, they experience that they are united. They are already powerful. They are peaceful. They are blissful. They don't need to uh, undermine anyone to reduce the power of someone so they can become more powerful. They don't need any lying, manipulation, cheating, everything that is present in that story, in the drama, doesn't exist here. It's literally inexistent. There is zero behavior like there is in the drama. So in their reality, these uh, souls, the actors are um, extremely united. They all are like one. They are individuals, they are unique, but they feel very close. They are a family. It is a unity of a family. They love each other and they live peacefully with each other. They have no hidden agenda. They are uh, happy and content always, constantly. Uh, bliss is something that they experience in a natural way. Their mind is blissful. Their mind is silent. And a mind that is silent and content is blissful. This is their life. Their life with their supreme parent. Their supreme parent is present in this reality and aware of it constantly. He is always awake to this reality.
See, such a beautiful reality to be seen, to be experienced, it cannot be compared with that drama where all are quarreling, fighting, being sad, being unhappy, giving sorrow, taking sorrow. This is a reality, the reality of the actors that is absolutely blissful, peaceful, loveful. All they have to do is to see the complete separation between the puppet, the part in the drama, and who they truly are. They have to regain uh, control of their mind. As it is right now, their mind is constantly looking and churning this script, a script that cannot be changed, but they constantly are uh, ruminating and churning only on what happened in the drama. And that is absolutely uh, absurd for any actor. Any actor that plays any part, as soon as the part has finished, they don't have a second thought about it. Even while they play their part, they know who they are. They don't identify themselves with their part. That would be completely absurd to play the part of a witch and to think that you are a witch. That it's impossible for anyone who is uh, mentally healthy or to play the part of a prince and to think that you are that prince. That it's madness. So here, the souls have to regain control of their mind. They have to use this kind of language. They have to understand to speak speak to their mind in this way. Unless and until they speak to their mind in this way, telling their mind that mind, whatever you are churning day and night is just a part, is just a role. The intellect has lost its clarity, has lost its ability to be clear and clean and accurate. So we have to regain that clarity. So mind, just stop thinking about that role. We are not that part, we are not that role. We are not that puppet in the story. Mind, you are the mind of that soul. The soul is eternal, is divine, and it's the actor. The actor has its own reality. We have to speak to our mind in this way, day and night, until we are regaining the control of our minds. Until then, the quality of life for this human beings trapped in believing that they are ridiculous puppets in the drama is a very low quality of life. They are identified with that puppets and whatever is in the script, sorrow or happiness, they live identified with it 100%. It's a very poor quality of life and it's a life like a nightmare. It is, it's not a life, it cannot be called a life. So these um, souls, by learning how to speak to their mind, they can regain control of their minds. And they can experience once again, the true life, the life of the actor, the reality of the actor. Everything else is just a play. It's a drama, it's a film, it's a fiction. Thank you. Have a nice day.